Okay, the next special effect I want to talk to you about is panorama photos. Okay, and you might have already discovered this on your iPad already, but let me just review it for you. Panoramic is when you need, when you have a wide scene and you need to really uh, show it. So if you normally go, like I'm at the marina just outside my house here, and I, I can take some shots, but it doesn't really show you how big the marina is. I mean, how the expanse of it all. So I can just show you bits and pieces of it, but not the whole shot. So what you do is then you take your camera, you in the camera modes there, you select pano for panorama, and then you will rotate your iPad so it's in the vertical mode, okay? So it's in the vertical setting there. And then there's a little line in the screen, and just as long as you keep that little arrow, you can go ahead and start it, and then you just pan across and just keep that little arrow lined up. You don't wanna be going all up and down because it needs to make a nice straight photo of what you're doing. And then you can stop it. That's what my daughter taught me. I used to do panoramics from edge to edge and I get all this stuff I don't want, but you can start it and then you can stop at any time. So you can just do a little panoramic or you can do a nice big, almost 180 degree panoramic shot. So it's, the choice is yours and then you have this great shot. And then when you preview it later, when you're inside photos, you just double tap on it and then you're able to look at it and scroll through it, okay? So uh, if you just leave it open, it just shows you the wide view, but you double tap on it, you zoom in, and then you can scroll around on it. And that's a real cool effect. And one more thing I wanted to tell you about this is that it works great for a substitute wide angle lens. Uh, again, I was taught by my daughter this. Uh, I was shooting inside a room, much like my studio here. And of course, you know, the, the shot just doesn't show very much of it. And she goes, Dad, just use panoramic. I'm like, what? And then, so sure enough, I just did a small pano in the room and I was able to capture just like as if I had a wide angle lens on my iPad. So that's really cool. If you're going to do a panoramic with people in it, okay, uh, you, you can't have things moving in a panorama. So you can't do it of cars or things like that or people. So if you do a classroom shot or some event, you have to get people to freeze so that the panoramic looks good. Okay, and, and people don't mind to do it, you know, they, so you're just like, okay, I need to take a panoramic of our field trip uh, just to show everybody just freeze. And then you, while they're frozen, you just do a quick pano and then you're like unfreeze and then they're okay. So, uh, so this next one then is of course panoramic photos uh, with your parents permission, get outside and shoot a nice uh, panoramic uh, shot of something. If you're stuck, you can't go outside, then shoot a panoramic of the inside somewhere and just get your get used to uh, doing panoramics because to earn this badge you have to do a panoramic shot.